There's an old saying that fortune favors the brave and that without risk, there is no reward. These ideals seem to get lost in today's corporate world, especially in the automobile manufacturing space. Few car manufacturers today actually dare to step outside their norm. Sometimes when they do, a bunch of hungry business suits battle each other and hardly ever come up with a new improved product. But when they decide to steer away from analysis paralysis, you start turning thoughts into things. Things like this, something that has caused quite a stir up in its own community. And to be quite honest, I kind of like that. All right, so right now we are in the C8 Z06. This car is an absolutely incredible car. Um, man, ever since I got this thing, I've just been loving every bit of this car, but I haven't really had too many opportunities to bring it on track. I've been on a drag strip with this thing. This car has a very, very good straight line speed, but I wanted to bring it to a road course and figure out, you know what? What can this car do on a road course? Can it turn? Can it drive out of the corner? Can it brake? GM spent a lot of time, I'm talking about many, many years, plotting up their scheme on what they were gonna create. What was this next car? What were they gonna do? They were going away from the front engine Corvettes, which was a typical Corvette. I mean, ever since the 50s, they've been making front engine style Corvettes. And now they decided to go to something a bit different and they decided to go with a mid-engine car. And they first started out with the C8 as their base, and that's what they always do. They always have the base car, but then eventually they get away from the base car and they go with the Z06 and the ZR1. They haven't come out with that ZR1 just yet, but they do have the Z06 and we've got it here with us. This car, I mean, as you're driving it into these corners, you can really, really feel that these brakes work very, very well. The acceleration out of the corners is better than any other Corvette I've ever had before in my life. And I've had a C6 Z06. I've had a C7 Z06. I now have this C8 Z06 and none of those cars match up to the C8 Z06. I mean, this car is an absolute track monster. I mean, this car is a 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 making 670 horsepower from the factory. Uh, there is no other naturally aspirated V8 in the world that makes that kind of horsepower from the factory bone stock without boost. There's no supercharger. There's no turbochargers. There's no turbochargers. <laughs> There's no boost at all. It's all naturally aspirated American V8 power. The cool thing about this car is it's not just a track car. It's not just one of those track supercars that you can only bring to the track, you can only use it at the track, and that's about it. You can use this car as a daily driver. The one we're in right now is a non-Z07. So this car does not have the Z07 aero. It doesn't have uh, the extra, a little bit 10%, 15%, whatever, stiffer suspension. It doesn't have that, yet it still handles really, really good. I'd put this car up against the Z07 all day long. I feel like if you're a good enough driver, you can still easily hang with the Z07, right? The Z07 is nice for a lot of different reasons, but honestly, do you really need it? Unless you're really trying to get that last tenth, that last couple tenths of the track, I, I think the normal Z06 really is all you need with this car. I mean, it does everything that you want it to do, and it's an absolute blast. Now, as far as like gas mileage on this car, a lot of people, <laughs> they always wonder, what's the gas like on a car like this? Well, the mileage actually isn't that bad. I drove this car cross country, and when I drove it cross country, I was able to get over 300 miles on one tank of fuel. I mean, if I really stretched it, I could probably get 350, maybe even 360 miles on one tank. So you can actually drive this car a lot and it's not gonna really kill you at the pump. Now, obviously, it's not like a uh, crazy fuel efficient EV or something like that, or a, uh, or a uh, you know, hybrid or whatever you wanna call it. 
but it's uh it's still a good car <laughs> still good for on the gas not too bad at all so if you're somebody who is on the fence trying to figure out you know what should i get a new c8 z06 over the base c8 or even over the c8 e-ray that's coming out i can sit here and tell you that it's definitely worth the investment this car will be everything you could have ever dreamed about for a supercar and it is a supercar it's not a sports car it is a supercar like General Motors told his Chevrolet engineers and design team, dream it and we'll build it. This vehicle is a true testament to what happens when brilliant people aren't limited by red tape. I cannot honestly say that I've driven anything better or have had any better experience in any other vehicle in my life. Chevrolet has really set a new standard that will be very difficult for anyone in the same price range to match. They put the world on notice. And with that said, thank you, Chevrolet. Thank you.